float like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I right to be in living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete? And all mankind danced to the exact beat. And at night it was safe to walk down the street. Ivan Waynes, and this is In Living Color. Good to be here tonight. Good to have you all here. Before we get started, I want to know why you up there. <laughs> she know, she, just couldn't, <laughs> she couldn't get the dance number down, so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say hello to DJ and one of my fly girls, Carrie Ann, and that's that we want. <laughs> right, back here, start with Carrie, DJ, Lisa, and Michelle. Well, we're ready to get loose and have some fun, so sit back and laugh for about a half. Be right back. Kick it. And wake up. <laughs> All right, another volunteer. Yes, you, sir. <laughs> Let's give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. And your name is? Eugene Carmichael III. All right, Eugene Carmichael III. What do you do for a living? Commodities broker. Commodities broker. Let me ask you, have you ever been hypnotized? No, I haven't, and frankly, I'm quite skeptical. A one, two, three, trance. <laughs> now with my command, you will cluck like a chicken. One, two, three. You're never gonna be a <laughs> Beg your pardon? Ladies and gentlemen, the skeptic. And I assure you, he will remain this way as long as I... As long as I... Oh, my God. He's not breathing. Call an ambulance, quick. Oh, my God. Come on, get up. Get up. Oh, you he's dead. May I help you? All right. Now, just concentrate. Put the money on the counter, look her in the eye, and concentrate. Look at her eye! For the love of God, please hear me. I'm starving. I want a burger. Uh, look, 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 take this. I'll call the police. You can't come here and talk to me. Wait a minute, this guy. Sorry, this guy's trying to tell us something. <laughs> I think I've seen this on Geraldo. All right. Can you write it down? That's a great idea. I should have thought of this. <laughs> I'd like. A hamburger and a cola, please. I am starving. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I can't read that chicken scratch. <laughs> oh, please. Please. The night acted when arrived was a departure point for a long descent to a place stranger than nightmares, a place crueler than hell. These entered a place called the Vortex of Fear.
Coming this fall on ABC. Muffin, Skip, you kids okay? We love Mr. Charles. The kids aren't his, but they're his responsibility. He's Ray Charles in charge. Oh, what are you doing, Skip? Over Mr. Belvedere and he hit the road jack. He's Ray Charles in charge, coming this fall right after the Scooby Wonder years. They're blind and they're black. They're back to back. Tuesdays on ABC. Now, boys and girls, it's time for your favorite storyteller. Tonight's story is Cinderella. Cinderella was the prettiest, most beautiful, and most talented one in the family. And all of them hated her, just like me. So beautiful and so talented. And they all hate me, you know. Oh, that's right. Cinderella wanted to meet the prince. Now, everybody's talking about prince, prince, prince. Let me tell you something about prince. Prince is nothing compared to me. That's right, prince could not sit next to me on my throne unless he's in a hot chair. Oh, that's right. I've seen him, the little tiny man, posing naked on a horse. <laughs> Trying to cover up with one hand. If I had to cover up with one hand, why bother? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so anyway, Cinderella heard about the king's ball and she got all excited, just like I did. I love a good ball. <laughs> anyway, kings are always known for having great balls, and I ain't talking about Elvis. Oh no, Elvis was no king, I'm sorry. Elvis couldn't even tie my blue suede shoes. I wouldn't let him pet my hound dog. Oh no, if Elvis is the king, then what am I? Shut up. <laughs> so anyway, Cinderella was very sad because she couldn't go. And then in the middle of the night, her fairy godmother came and gave her beautiful gown, silver slippers, and a white carriage with horses. You know, they never gave me nothing. That's right, I haven't got a Grammy yet. They never gave me nothing. They gave Paul McCartney a Grammy. When I heard that, I screamed like a white lady in church. <laughs> Where was I? You know, everybody stole from me. Oh, that's right, I can't tell you this story no more. I have to tell you the real story. That's right, everyone stole from me. Stephen Wonder and Ray Charles, I was blind first. Oh, yes, I did that first. Oh, Diana Ross. Diana Ross, tall, glamorous woman. You know who did that first. Oh, and James Brown stole my hair, stole my cape. Mm -hmm. He's in prison right where he belongs. Oh, yes, he is. And you know, Papa's got a brand new bag now. Mm -hmm. Probably got some shoes to match. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, that's all the time we have for Little Richard's Playhouse. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, sweet baby. Thank you, Buster. Hi, I'm Della Reese. And if you're like me, you suck up food the way a vacuum cleaner sucks up hairballs. But I got to watch what I eat. And honey, sometimes I don't want a whole portion. I just want a little taste. And that's why I've developed Della Reese's Pieces. Honey, you don't have to feel guilty about having whole portions anymore because I've already taken bites out of everything for you. See, that's all I wanted. Wait a minute. Save me a little piece for later, too. And this is all you're gonna get with Della Reese's Pieces. 
It's the simple way to stop making a pig out of yourself, honey. So the next time somebody comes in your face with a big old mean drumstick like this, you say, oh, oh baby, I'm eating Della Reese's Pieces. New Della Reese's Pieces, when you're already starving for just a little something. Today's a big day. I'm moving up. Let me tell you something. Don't fool yourself, my brother. They ain't never gonna let that happen.